Can you name the four states that make up the southwest region of the United States? They're shown here in orange. They are Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, and Oklahoma. This map shows the southwest region in relation to the rest of the United States. Our essential question today is what are the geographic characteristics of the southwest region of the United States? By the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe what makes the southwest states unique. Let's take a look at the physical geography. The map on the left shows that the Rocky Mountains run down through Arizona and New Mexico. The map on the right shows us the rivers of the United States. And we can see the Colorado River and the Rio Grande run through the southwest. It's also bordered by the Gulf of Mexico. Much of the land in the southwest is desert. The Rocky Mountains stretch from Canada straight down through New Mexico. And the Colorado River and Rio Grande River carve through the land. The climate is very hot in the southwest. There's limited water supply. Most of the time the temperature is over 67 degrees. This dry hot area impacts the animals and the human population too. The land in the southwest is not very fertile so you don't see many crops. For the population to grow in the southwest humans have had to adapt to their environment. Cooling their homes with air conditioning, using automobiles to get around rather than walking in the heat, and building aqueduct systems to transport water from the Colorado River to the nearby towns and cities. The picture on the left is the intake of the water from the Colorado River. The picture on the right are the tubes that move the water across the land to where the population is. Because of the landforms in this region, such as the Rocky Mountains and the deserts, this region has a low population density. But it does include four of the top ten most populous cities in our country. Houston, Texas, Phoenix, Arizona, San Antonio, and Dallas, Texas. The Southwest is a mix of diverse ethnic cultures. It includes European Americans, Mexican Americans, and American Indian populations. These cultures have an impact on the food, jewelry, clothing, and religions in the Southwest. The Hoover Dam in Arizona is a great example of how the humans have changed their environment or modified it to suit their needs. A dam is a wall built across a river. The reason the dam was built, it controls flooding around the Colorado River, it stores water, it makes electricity for surrounding areas, and building the dam during the Depression provided jobs. The Hoover Dam in Arizona is a popular tourist attraction. Another popular tourist attraction in the southwest region is the Grand Canyon in Arizona. A canyon is a deep, narrow valley with deep sides. The Grand Canyon has been formed over five to six million years by the erosion from the Colorado River and wind. The canyon is a mile deep in some parts and 277 miles long. The economy in this region is run by a number of things. Natural resources, cattle ranches, manufacturing, the Johnson Space Center in Texas, and tourism in Arizona. Let's check our understanding. The diverse population in the Southwest has an impact on which of the following areas? Culture, temperature, or physical geography. 
the diverse population has an impact on the culture in the area. An aqueduct is used to move sand to the desert, water to the cities, food to small towns. If you said water to the cities, you are correct. You should now be able to describe what makes the Southwest States unique. In our next lesson, we'll travel to another region of the United States.